Hey, ¿qué tal amigos? Stuart here from Spain Speaks. Today we're going to talk about a controversial topic which is in the press here a lot recently and it's related to bulls, bullfighting and the way that animals are generally treated in Spain. So uh, that's what we'll be talking about today. Now before we go any further with this uh, vlog, I'll just say that I do not condone animal cruelty in any way, shape or form. So if anybody interprets my words otherwise, I'm going to set the record straight from the beginning. Now, as I said, this topic is really in the press here a lot recently because of a certain festival that takes place in the north of Spain every year, which is called El Toro de la Vega. Basically what happens in this festival is that a bull is set free in the town and hundreds of people with uh, spears or lances chase the bull, uh, spearing it, lancing it until it eventually, uh, you know, kills over and dies. Animal rights protesters have for the last, I don't know how many years, been going to this place and trying to stop this event from taking place. And I think last year, or maybe earlier this year, the mayor of that town passed a law saying that the animal is not allowed to be uh, lanced or speared uh, by people anymore. Now, this has caused enormous controversy here in Spain because the town where this takes place, I can't remember exactly what the name of the place is, uh, they're up in arms, that they can't go through with their tradition. Because at the end of the day, this is what it all comes down to for a lot of people. It comes down to tradition, and on the other side you've got people that don't understand how, you know, uh, torturing an animal, killing an animal that way uh, in public, uh, you know, as a, like a, a festivity, can be considered, um, you know, something to do in the year 2016 and this is where the, these animal rights protesters are getting their voice across and you know making uh, a lot of governments take action with regard to this now about this topic i will say that i have never been to a bullfight but we need to separate what is the professional spectacle of bullfighting and what happens in some of the smaller towns or villages in spain the professional bullfighting is an industry. It's also very traditional. Uh, some people make a lot of money. Uh, bull, the top bullfighters, of course, are treated as celebrities here in Spain. Um, there was a case on the TV the other day of a young boy, 12-year-old boy, uh, who was banned from uh, participating in a bullfight because he was too young. So that also made the news the other day. Um, and bullfighting is one of those things that if you don't come from Spain, it's very, very difficult to have a true opinion on the topic. I remember a few years ago, I was giving classes to a, uh, an executive in, the, in a Spanish bank, and he told me that his town was celebrating its local festival, and that uh, he was going to take his kids, I think he had five or six kids, and he was going to take them to the bullfights that, later that day. And I sort of questioned it a little bit, you know, why would you be taking your kids, blah, blah, blah. And he said that if you're not from Spain, you can't understand what bulls mean to us. Now, I didn't really understand what he meant by that, but I got the impression that it's something that if you grow up uh, going to bullfights or seeing bulls at your local fair or festival every year it's just something that becomes a traditional part of your culture and again if you come to Spain when you're 25 like I did you know you haven't grown up with that type of thing you haven't grown up with with uh, what bulls mean and you know really I can't understand what it means to him and I'm sure that he can not understand my point of view either so you know more or less that's uh, something that you need to keep in mind as well anyway um, professional bullfighting seems to be declining in popularity. I read in the paper the other day that there's something like only uh, 1,700 professional bullfights now in Spain. 
but it's the non-professional bullfights or not even really bullfights it's just that bulls are featured in local festivals uh, where people run around with them I've even seen videos that they stick uh, these um, uh, things on their horns you know those uh, 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 they're not fi firecrackers but they're like sparklers they stick these sparklers on the bull's horn and the bull was sticking its head in the dirt trying to put these things out really quite barbaric if you look at it from that point of view and then again the other day I saw a video where um, in a small town I think it was in somewhere in the Madrid province uh, this little bull was being slaughtered by three or four people and there were children and people in the audience screaming uh, kill it kill it kill it and that really hit home that this type of um, treatment of animals bulls especially in my opinion doesn't really have a have a place in today's society and it's in these small towns and villages where this uh, type of uh, activity really pro proliferates for example I think there's 16,000 non-professional bull events in Spain 16,000 so there's 1700 professional bullfighting events and there's 16,000 non-professional ones and it's in the non-professional ones where the bulls obviously are treated sometimes badly and with absolutely no professional aspect to it at all but one of the things you will see here is that Spanish people are still very passionate when it comes to bullfighting or at least a lot of people are uh, they defend the activity uh, saying that there's a whole industry that's created around this and that there's a lot of families that would lose out if it was prohibited it has been prohibited in I know that in Barcelona for example it, it has been banned uh, also in the town that I live uh, it's been banned now for a number of years uh, and really I don't think anybody misses it um, if you want to go and see a bullfight you can just go to another local town every local town seems to have a, a bullfighting ring in some shape or form and if they don't have one they they bring in these portable ones so it is quite a popular event and as I said before there are people that do make money from this industry the argument that the pro bullfighting uh, uh, lobby or group puts forward is that the bulls are specifically bred for that purpose and if bullfighting did disappear then those bulls obviously would also disappear somebody was telling me this morning that uh, another aspect is that if you look at traditional um, uh, animal treatment for example cows uh, he said that cows have an average uh, life of uh, six months they're uh, fattened up and they get to a certain weight and then they're slaughtered so that could also be considered quite cruel whereas bulls for example the bulls that are used in a lot of these bull fights have uh, three four five years in paddocks open paddocks so he was arguing that the quality of life of these animals is actually better and uh, the way that they are treated uh, in the bullfighting rings is, act is actually quite good according to him like I said I've never seen this so I can't really comment on that but that was his point of view that um, that uh, the you know the bulls are actually treated treated quite well that it's, it's quite professional all of the people involved in the activity and therefore the animals don't suffer as much but again that's the professional side of bullfighting and not the non-professional side that I I spoke about a couple of minutes ago now when you live in a big city like Madrid for example bullfighting doesn't even come into your life at all there's one big bullfighting ring which is called Las Ventas but if you asked a lot of people they would probably say that the only time they've been to Las Ventas is to watch a, a concert because it's also used for concerts I think uh, ACDC for example has played there a few times other uh, big acts Coldplay and uh, I went there to watch the tennis I went there to watch a, a Davis Cup game a few years ago uh, so I mean it, it is uh, used for other purposes but that's the only main bullfighting area I think in the center of Madrid there's an indoor one as well but I can't think of too many more but as I said when you go into the villages and the small towns you do see bullfighting rings in in a lot of these places and and you know they, they 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 put these portable ones up if they haven't got them so the majority of these small towns when they have their annual uh, fairs or festivals they do celebrate with bulls now uh, bulls are obviously in the spotlight at the moment but, the, but there's another couple of uh, uh, festivals that incorporate animals I remember reading about a festival a few 
few years ago where they used to throw a goat from the top of a church something that I couldn't understand I think that's also been banned and there was also one in the Basque country I think in uh, near Bilbao where they used to uh, hang uh, geese from uh, a pole and uh, they used to cover them in in, in fat and uh, people used to hold on to the onto the geese and uh, until the n the neck of the of the goose snapped now another person justified this by saying oh yeah but the geese uh, then then they're, they're not alive anymore they're dead when we do this and i thought to myself w why would you need to to you know hold on to to uh, to a goose's neck until it snaps where, where where's the fun in that you know so the point i'm trying to make here is that there's more than bullfighting when it comes to you know animals uh, and animal cruelty being involved in in spanish uh, in spanish festivals yeah so basically that's my take on the subject uh, i'm not pro but bullfighting i can't really say that I'm against it. My point of view is to always try to listen to both sides and try and understand the reasoning behind the two, which I always try to do. Sometimes it's, it works, sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, if you've got a question or any comments on bullfighting or animal treatment, please leave it in the section below. I'll see you in the next vlog. Have a good day.